Today we're putting together an $800 gaming PC that's going to be both really good on the budget and also really good in the gaming department. We went used with the GPU and all new for everything else to deliver some really good price performance and one of you people at home have a chance to win this PC. Don't believe me? We'll tell you how after a word from today's sponsor. If you're into PC gaming or PC building, you've probably thought about selling your old parts or maybe picking up a good deal on an upgrade. Well, that's where today's video sponsor Jawa.gg comes in. Jawa is a community marketplace built specifically for gamers and PC enthusiasts. Unlike sketchy auction sites or random social media media groups, Jawa is designed around trust and transparency, so you can buy and sell with confidence. Every listing is reviewed and every transaction includes buyer protection, so you're not left guessing. Plus, the community makes the platform even better. You can actually chat with sellers, ask questions, and feel good about what you're buying. On Jawa, you'll find everything from graphics cards and processors to fully custom-built PCs, and at some pretty amazing prices. Earlier today, I was shopping around and found this PNY RTX 4060 for just $240. Be sure to check out Jawa.gg today and use code TOASTY10 to save 10% off your first order up to $10. Big thanks to Jawa.gg for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's Let's get back to it. So this Friday, we are going to be giving away this gaming PC, which is September 12th, and we start the stream at 11 a.m. and it ends at 5 p.m., where we give away the PC and some other prizes. And if you didn't know, we do one of these giveaways every single month, typically the second Friday of the month. We decided to release this video a little bit earlier to get you all some time to, you know, quit your jobs, you know, tell your significant <laughs> others you're going to be busy that day, and head on over to twitch.tv slash Toasty Rose, hit that follow button, and uh, hopefully have a chance to win this gaming PC and unlock a sub goal where you could win another RTX 4060 which we'll talk more about the GPU here in a little bit. But but overall, this build is looking pretty dang good. Let's go over all the parts that make up the $800 budget, and then we'll dive into some testing. So of course, the star of this build, we had to go with the Ryzen 5 9600X 6-core 12 thread, just like we do in every build, because it is such a good price to perform in CPU. But this one ended up being $198 on Newegg because it comes with free RAM. So we ended up getting Team Group 16 gigs, and it's DDR5, 6000 megahertz CL38, and it's RGB, it's dual channel. The only the only downside is yes, it's 16 gig total capacity, but it is made up because of the fact that it's free and it's dual channel. So if you really want more RAM, you can buy more RAM separately, you can add to this, whatever you want to do. But at the end of the day, we think 16 gigs will be enough to get you started in gaming. We'll show you that in the benchmarks. Now that we talked about the CPU and the RAM, we'll talk about how we're cooling the CPU. We got the ID Cooling SC214 XT. This is an $18 air cooler and it's all black. It's one of our favorite coolers. We use it in almost every single build guide that we do because it's so easy to install and it provides great temps. Now for the SSD, we got something a little bit different. We got the Patriot P400 V4 Gen 4. We paid $63 for this Gen 4 SSD, and it has over 6,000 megabytes per second read and write speed. So it is a pretty fast Gen 4 SSD. And for the motherboard, we went with the Gigabyte B650M Gaming Plus Wi-Fi DDR5 motherboard. It was 130 bucks. It's a great price for a micro ATX board that has a full eight pin for the CPU, and it even has four RAM slots for a good upgrade pass. So like I said, if you wanna add more RAM, you could just double it and go ahead and get another two sticks of team group. Now for the graphics card, shout out to Jawa. We picked up this graphics card on Jawa.gg for $230. This is an RTX 4060, eight gig, more specifically a gigabyte model. It's a two fan card. And uh, we want the 4060 because it is a decent amount cheaper than 5060 and you're getting better price performance going used. Always check out Jawa for your GPU deals. Shout out to them for giving the budget for this graphics card. And hey, the 4060 pairs very nicely with the 9600X in terms of 1080p gaming with DLSS. You can do some 4040p gaming as well. For the power supply, we went a little bit different here the Super Flower Combat DB 650W 80 plus bronze power supply. That name is insane. Super Flower Combat Power Supply. I mean, Super Flower is a really big OEM that's made a lot of power supplies for a long time, and they're normally really reliable. And this one coming in at 65 bucks is a good change of pace for a 650 watt power supply that is plenty of watts for this PC build with rooms for upgrades in the future. Now we were gonna do a different case. You guys are probably saying, Tosi Bros Aqua 3 again? Well, we wanted to go with a new case. We love Okinos, by the way, but we were gonna go with the DIY PC ARGB M1 in black, which is a really cool case at $59. I'll we'll show it on screen here. Uh, but it was on just such a long back order that we couldn't wait any longer for this giveaway PC. So you'll probably see a future Toasty Bros video or a PC Bros build where we use that case. So stay tuned for that. But we had to go with the Aqua 3 as a replacement. And it's a really good replacement too. We have three ARGB fans. Uh, we, it's micro ATX form factor and it's budget friendly coming in around 60 bucks. If you want to pick one up, you can get it black or white and it's good. It's a great case. It has the style that everyone's looking for at a great price and all in all with just a little under $800 for the total budget for this build I think we got some pretty good price performance with an Nvidia GPU and a good upgrade path on AM5 but you guys want to see the benchmarks we're gonna dive into some benchmarks in some different titles so you guys can see the full performance of this PC and then we'll talk about how you can win this PC because you know what you might need to win it before I take it I'm taking it we are playing Battlefield 
not six. I saw six up there. Battlefield 2042 because six is still not out for the public. 1920 max FOV, medium settings. How uh, do we have? We're running no DLSS, full render scale, no ray tray. All right, there's there's a lot of lot of settings there. And look at that, we're getting 160 FPS. Pretty crazy, actually. Now, this game might not be amazing, but I will say it is one game, at least esports level, that uses a lot of CPU and a lot of GPU. So as you saw there, we rarely had a lag spike where CPU hit 99%. Mm -hmm. So this is very heavy on CPUs and GPUs. So it's a good test until Battlefield 6 comes out. So I'm giving you all a good game. And even then, Battlefield 6 is it's just a little harder to run than this, but not like, I mean, this is still a pretty hard to run game. Now clearly this is a game we're having only 16 gigs of RAM. It's not gonna be a problem. We're only using uh, 12 gigs right now, so we have a little little bit to work with, but there might be some, ooh, there might be some other games where that uh, could be different, but this one, oh! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Oh, someone's shooting back. Uh -oh. Oh, uh oh, they, they found him. He can't me. hit me, he can't hit me. <laughs> oh, go oh, oh, I saw him oh. and then he disappeared. Oh. And then somebody else said, got him. I, I got you too, like I got you a couple hit markers, a couple kills, I think that's perfectly acceptable. The new battle feels so much better for close up. Yeah. I mean, it could just be the class too, I don't know. <laughs> Incendiary! All you right. burn burn. I, I said one more, so I'm, I'm calling it there. Uh, Battlefield 6, hopefully soon. <laughs> we'll be benchmarking that. But yeah, I mean, it's going to run good on Battlefield 6, clearly, if it ran pretty decent on this one, maybe a little less FPS. But let's go ahead and go to the next game. All right, guys, we are in Killing Floor 3, currently running 1080p medium settings with Lumen reflections on and uh, some DLSS set to balanced. Uh, no uh, frame gen or anything, just DLSS on balanced and. Not bad, getting the typical Unreal Engine 5 little, little stutters as we load stuff in, but we're getting about 100 FPS here. Obviously with frame gen and DLSS with the 4060, you can stretch into 1440p if you want to and get ugh, even better results. Well, you could play at 1440p, I wouldn't say it'd be better results, but you could play at 1440p if you wanted to. But yeah, this is running pretty dang good. Ooh. We hit those. I always like to, every other video, ask you guys, since uh, I did throw a bunch of different games at you guys for this one, um, and you'll see with the other benchmarks, we did try some different games. If you have any other game suggestions, let us know. Anything to add to the benchmark rotation, always taking suggestions for games. But only like good games. But only good games. Oh. I ulted. I've never seen it before. It cooks. Oh! And just for the fun of it, for those who maybe don't want to run DLSS at 1080p, let's just show you guys what it's like if we run a little DLAA, which is basically just running native. So we'll go ahead and enable that. Worse. Console. Console. <laughs> run some DLSS, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to want that upscaling here, which is it's quite funny uh, that we're getting that much more FPS with DLSS, but we are getting it, and it does make quite the difference in a game like this. Um, yeah, nice $800 build though, good upgrade path and a solid price performance on the used market. It's not showing it right now because it's running like poo poo, but let's go back to DLSS. I don't even think we had frame gen on, did we? No, no frame gen. So we had uh, on balance, make sure you didn't break things. Yeah, man, it's just making a massive difference. So we need frame gen, getting 90 FPS. So looking pretty dang good. So we'll run some other benchmarks per usual. Uh, you guys saw the beginning of this build. Everything's looking pretty solid. Good used price performance with a mixture of new parts. And uh, we'll tell you guys how you can win this PC because uh, this time, finally, we're releasing the video earlier. So you guys have some time to actually, you know, schedule to be during the giveaway stream. Um, so stay tuned for that. But let's talk about how you can win this PC and um, our final thoughts about it. Go ahead and call into work. Call into work, guys. Call into work. After we just got done playing a bunch of different games and even doing some built-in benchmarks, we can say this PC for 800 bucks is pretty darn good. And the other benchmarks we ran on this PC to round things out are as follows. We ran CS2, 1080p low, got a whopping 570.5 FPS average with a 1% low of 177.5. Black Myth Wukong, a AAA title that'll really push this thing to its limits at 1080p medium settings with no upscaling, got a 67 FPS average with a max of 80 and a minimum of 18. And then for 3 mark time spot, we got a score of 10,485. And that's a pretty good score for a PC that we built ourselves. So once again, guys, if you want a chance to win this PC, head on over to twitch.tv slash Tosi Bros, hit the follow button or go to toastybros.tech slash giveaway as well. Those links will be down below. You can learn about how our giveaway system works every single month. And we hope to see you guys during the giveaway stream this coming Friday. And as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you check out our other two YouTube channels and also our Twitch site, TV slash Toasty Bros. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>
<clears throat> so this PC will not be for sale because it's gonna be free. It's gonna be given away to someone, but we do these giveaways every single month and we have a whole PC selling business where we sell them. And PC Bros, the PC selling business, makes it possible by funding these PC giveaways. So if you guys wanna buy a PC, maybe you don't win one, you'd rather just get one now, go to PCBros.tech, use code TOZYBROS on checkout, you will save 3% your next purchase. See you guys later, goodbye.